I'm Trisha and uh, I work for Code for Africa uh, where I work as a data wrangler and right now we're in Castries and we are doing a three-day data literacy bootcamp. In preparation for the bootcamp, we ask participants to register and fill in a form with uh, asking them details such as their the data interest. And when they come in, we find out the roles that they each play. So this helps us to prepare ahead of time so we know um, the data interests of the participants and we can search for these data sets and have them available for them on the St. Lucia data portal. It's an exciting time. Um, your government has adopted an open data policy and it is launching the open data portal um, and we wanted to make sure that all of you are ready to take advantage of the data sets that are being made available um, and that you'll be ready to be part and parcel in a partnership with government to join the international open data community. For this boot camp, 45% uh, are female participants so fields of interest, 36% is from agriculture, 34% economy. We want them to form teams and before that we need to find out what category they fall in. A data worse, a designer, a developer or a storyteller. My name is Lovely Anthony. I'm a statistical development officer from the OECS Commission. Um, basically I manage so, projects yeah. and programs um, on for statistics, mainly for statistical advocacy for the Commission. My name is Jimmy Clavey. I am the Senior Business Development and Marketing Officer with the Cultural Development Foundation in St. Lucia. It's not every one of us who's gone through a, 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 a full level of training in, with Excel documents and you know Excel files. Um, but this three-day process has has allowed for you know uh, it has opened up my eyes you know to to other for ways of getting the data that I need, cleaning the data, and saving time. You know? These are males dropping out of secondary school. These are females who have dropped out of secondary school. Why do we have so many males dropping out of all secondary schools? Prostate cancer versus all the other cancers in men. My name is Louise Mathurin Serrier and I'm a research officer with the Department of Public Service and I coordinate the open data activities. St. Lucia Open Data is an entire program which doesn't just put data out there but we engage the person who will be using that data and we try to find out what their needs are towards ensuring that data placed in the public domain leads to national development. Generally speaking, the Caribbean is thought of as data poor. Uh, we tend to eschew data and evidence-based decision-making in favor of sensationalism and you know, uh, innuendo. Um, and there, there's some cultural aspects to that, so that we think a Caribbean school of data has to build not only skills, but attitude and a culture of um, decision-making that is data-driven. And so that um, data literacy, what we're doing with this um, boot camp, and broader digital literacy, we, we think is a fundamental part of that process of building of the open data ecosystem. A couple of years ago, we did a study with um, collaboration with Capri here at the university, which uh, demonstrated, illustrated unequivocally that Open data, just again, open data and the value of open data in just three sectors, agriculture, tourism, and education, has the potential impact of one and a half percent GDP. That is phenomenal, that is hugely significant. Um, so this is serious business. Mm -hmm.